Hello YouTube, my name is Andre and I have a new tutorial today and it's about sampling. It's about sampling stuff from uh, cassette in this time but you can also apply this to the radio or whatever signal you have, your iPhone or an LP. But I found um, some tapes on the street and put them into a, an old Sony Walkman and now I can fire this up and see how it goes. So I will just sample some random stuff from this old tape and then see what what happens. So enjoy this and I'm, I'm sorry that it took so long for another tutorial but um, again I'm here and um, now let's see how this goes. So now I recorded the first sample, um, just a short look at my sampling setup. It's set to in A, B and C, D, it just doesn't matter which of the three buttons I press. You can also resample from another track if you go to source 3 and do uh, the thing you want to, to sample, but we don't do this right now. And I just sampled this and another important thing, not for this application, but for another one is that you set the fade in and fade out time to the minimum value. So you won't have these clicks and pops at the end and the beginning. I also set um, quantized recording to the pattern length. So it's always a perfect loop. It's not that important for this application because this time we want to use a part of the song just for the basis and then I'll sample some other random stuff and see what I come up with. So it's really experimentation and sometimes it just doesn't work so you start over and do it again. It doesn't matter. There is no bad time on the octa track. You will always have a good time. So let's see what's on this tape. It's some um, 80s sort of synth pop. I don't like it that much, but it doesn't matter. It's about sampling and resampling stuff from a tape. So what's what's on the other tape? Okay, she is singing about the failed chances of your life. I like that a lot, but um, I'm not sure how to use it. But let's look for another one on track four. Wow, that's a serious drummer. Now I have four loops and see what I can do with um, these things. If, you go, if I go to my sample and see how it um, sampled, let listen to this again by pressing function and yes. Um, I think somewhere here started something that we might use. So you can use your encoders to adjust the size um, of the waveform and see it better and then adjust a mangle around and look for a point where I can start something. That's a good um, point. And now I just... Where is the beginning? Um, I'm in slice mode. I should go to trim mode for this uh, particular situation. So I find a start point. Zoom in a little bit to see it better. There it is.
Bum, 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 bum. That's a good loop. Bum, 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 bum. Now just find the out point. Now I have a selection and there's a cool setting um, on the Octa track that you can trim this, I guess. Um, ah, you can also calculate the BPM from the selection and it says 107 BPM. Um, and if I trim this to selection, where is it? Um, no, on the edit. Edit menu somewhere here. Crop to selection. So everything else will be gone. But I don't need anything else. And now I have a loop that I can start to work with. It's just the beat. So this is a, the basis of our song. I could also normalize this to have the proper volume. Normalize selection. What's going on? Okay, edit, normalize selection. Uh, did this work? What happened? Ah, the waveform is too, too big now. <laughs> oh, that's loud. Jesus. Mm, edit. <laughs> Good. And if I now, um, I have this one 107, edit this file 107, maybe 108, will this work? Good. And if I now set my global tempo to 108, Everything should play fine with this um, da -da, editing. And now we have a basic pattern for the start. And if I put a trick here on the first, I should start hearing this. <laughs> So I just start to improvise and see, uh, find something that I like. It's always experimentation, adjusting the rate, the pitch, maybe the retrick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let's listen to the other things we recorded. Uh, what uh, what do we have here? I guess that's the woman that is playing so singing so good stuff. Edit. Look at the waveform to see it better, and now listen to her. It's also a lot of drumming. I like this. This, um. Just find something. Maybe I'll try something different and just um, take a short portion and then I play this like a synth because it's um, just so small that I can do this. Just find a spot where I like it. Okay, and now if I play this chromatically, maybe it works as a sort of melody thing. I'm not sure. Chromatic, let's see.
it's not beautiful, but let's see if I, f if I filter out some of the frequencies, maybe it works better. Okay, that's two things that start to work a little bit. So let's see what we else have here. Another cool thing that I like to do is um, enable slice mode. If you go to uh, your um, your recording and go to edit to the slice part and go to edit and then create slice grid and you can do whatever slices you want it doesn't matter how much you have but beware the more slices you have the shorter the slices will be so 32 might be a good thing to start and if I know go to um, slice mode with function and the down arrow button I can play these slices I should also start enabling slices I forgot this I'm sorry and now let's see if I find something that suits to the rest that we have already slice here maybe I should start with um, make this a little louder uh, go to edit the slice edit select all and then um, edit and normalize selection because it's a little bit too too calm it's not loud enough so let's see if this works uh, yeah now it's normalized and should be louder edit again <laughs> Thank you. 
try this with the other sample as well and see if I find some sweet spots too. So go to the sample, go to edit and maybe start with normalizing it. Otherwise it's too calm. Normalize selection. First you have to set the endpoint, edit, normalize selection. And now it's normalizing and um, takes a while. And there you have it, adjust the waveform size. Maybe go to the level because it's maybe too loud. And then let's see what we come up with. It's always a pleasure to see that, to happen to work with these slices because it's so much coincidence and so much fun to, to play with this. So you have to do it by yourself to get this great feeling, um, maybe. 64 slices yes very cool and i have 64 slices that's so much <laughs> too short for this ambient style that I want so I um, go to edit and delete all slices and I create a new slice crit and just with 16 slices maybe this works better and if I now go to slice mode um, slices and I have the rate set to real slow so you something totally um, crazy. Just some texture. Thank you. 
what you think there's not much left to hear but anyway i want to go more crazy and add some variety to the to the to the rate because i like the rate so much it's it's making everything crazy and if you apply this to a to a scene and use the crossfader you can get completely new results and um, sometimes it works sometimes of course it doesn't so you can also change some some effect settings just to get some more variety maybe add some reverb it's always good to have reverb with this kind of application and yeah let's see how this goes i'm not sure it's always for me it's experimentation and it's fun so don't lose the fun and if you fuck something up it's not bad you can always start again and find a new tape or a new source and let's see how it sounds <laughs> You can resample this and you can use your instruments to play over this texture maybe it's just a texture it's not a real song it's not about real um, new songs out of sampling it's more like finding textures maybe that's what I was talking about I'm sorry <laughs> crazy this machine is a lot of fun and i hope you found this somewhat um, inspirational and start messing around with your own stuff thanks my name is andre and thanks for watching